Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger of Comedia back with another Dokkan Battle video. And today, we are going to be showcasing the new Battlefield Android 18 at Rainbow Status right here on the global version of the game. Now, this was definitely a unit I was super, super excited for ever since she was announced on that live stream along with the new Battlefield Krillin. And today we get to find out whether all that hype, at least on my end, was worth it. So without further ado guys, let's check out what this unit can do before we jump into the gameplay. So first things first, we have our leader skill, siblings bond category key plus 3, HP, attack and defense plus 120%. Her super attack is called aerial crash, raises attack and causes supreme damage, and that attack raise is basically a 30% boost to her super attack multiplier every single time it's used and it's essentially infinite because it lasts for 99 turns and her passive is the chosen path and this thing is a freaking essay guys so hold tight okay it gives her attack and defense plus 100% chance of evading enemies attack including super attacks plus 18% chance of performing a critical hit plus 18% so that's unconditional she'll have that no matter what and then on top of that if you have an android 16 or an Android 18 attacking in the same turn, she gets an additional attack and defense plus 80% and a chance of evading enemies attack plus 18% and chance of performing a critical hit plus 18%. So if you have an Android 16 or Android 17 on the same team or on the same rotation attacking, she gets all of those boosts at once. And then her links are Infinite Energy, Android Assault, Twin Terrors, The Innocence, Battlefield Diva, Organic Upgrade, and Shattering the Limit. And she's in four categories at the moment, Peppy Gals, Androids, Siblings Bond, uh, and Android Slash Cell Saga. And of course, the team we're bringing for today's showcase is going to be the Androids team with the two Android 17s as leads, as well as the new Int Android 16. He's basically there just to give her another chance at the boost and uh, some support units and this old Android 18 as well to change some orbs and uh, just because I like 18. So <laughs> there's the team guys, we're jumping into the uh, STR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta event which is a fairly new event on global right now so we should still get a decent challenge. Um, in the past I've done like Boss Rush 2 and stuff, people have been like, yo Tiger those are such old events man, it's not a representative of like, or a good representation of how well these units can do against these new events, right? So uh, ever since I got those comments, I got those, I mean, I take it as like constructive criticism, right? So I agree with you. So uh, now we're doing new Dokkan events, and I think that is a better representation of what these units can do on the current events, right? So here we go, guys. By the way, a huge, huge shout out to Hydros, as well as the entire team uh, behind Trident for making this showcase possible. I very much appreciate uh, the work that you guys put in, so thank you very much for that. And here we go guys, we didn't get the Android 18 on rotation, but that's okay. That's okay, she's coming up next, and she does have the 16 uh, in the same rotation after, so... Should be a pretty good showcase in just a second. Alright, can the 17 take out the first stage by himself? Let's see, here we go. And, oh, almost, yeah, we were close, damn. Okay, so one thing I did want to talk about uh, as far as this 18 goes is that uh, obviously she is a free-to-play unit. That's, I think, a given, but in case you didn't know, she is free-to-play. And because of that, she does get hurt a bit by her free-to-play stats, all right? Passive is absolutely amazing, right? She gets up to 180% uh, attack and defense and also 36% chance to dodge and 36% chance to um, perform a critical. Um, when you have the 16 or the 17 attack in the same turn. So like right now, we're going to get that additional boost. So she has, so she has a full 180% attack and defense, and also the 36% chance to dodge and critical. But because her stats are free to play stats, and they're quite low, um, it's not going to be as crazy as it might seem on paper, right? Because if you give a Dokkan Fest unit with like 16,000 attack or 17,000 attack, 180% uh, boost, damage is going to be off the charts, right? But for her, as you can see, she got close to a million, but not quite. And the main reason for that is because she only has 10,000 attack at rainbow status. So that hurts her definitely a little bit, but she did get the dodge off. All right, and two dodges in a row. She's, okay. So aside from damage output, which I think people like to focus on a lot, and I understand, you know, damage is sexy, damage is cool. 
but she also has that defensive capability, man. And I'd be interested to see like what she can do onto Bravada Road because she does have that pretty decent chance to evade attacks and also um, a decent amount of defense. Uh, as far as the boost goes, of course, her defensive stat is not super high either, so that could definitely hamper her. Um, but yeah, one thing to keep in mind, man, her max stats are not going to be super high. It's not like super low for a free-to-play unit either. It's kind of standard, I'd say. Um, if you compare it to like the new STR Vegeta and Trunks, they have a max attack of, I believe, like 10.5k, and she's just below that at 10.2k, so it's not like she has way lower stats than your average free-to-play free -to unit. It's just, I, I wish she had better stats, all right? I, I really do wish she had better stats. But what you saw before was 922k. It's definitely going to be higher in this rotation uh, because she does stack attack every single turn. So the longer the event goes, the stronger this girl is going to get. And she's going to have another chance to showcase that here. And maybe a little bit of tanking as well. Maybe we get supered. Uh, 67 damage right there, 977k attack, of course it did go up from the last time because we got that additional 30% to the SA multiplier, and she's taking attacks for, like normal attacks here, for double digit damage, she is dodging as well, she dodged the last super right there, so defensively she does have some usability as well man, and I think she's a really really good unit, she's a really really solid unit, she, they made her very strong. Um, which I love, man. You guys, I mean, if you're new here, you probably don't, don't know this, but for those of you that have been following me for some time now, I love Android 18, like, to the point where it's almost kind of weird. <laughs> and one of my main goals in Dokkan is definitely to rainbow every single Android 18 that I possibly can. And, um, you know, this one's definitely on the list, man. This one is 100% on the list on my main global account. Obviously, this isn't my main global account. This is an account that I'm using right now for showcases. Um, but on my main global, I did pick up the one copy of the 18 and I got the medals and God, dude, it, is it ever expensive? And I think that's another very important use of this showcase right here to inform you guys about whether or not it, it will be worth your uh, Battlefield memory to like buy the copies of her and buy the coins and all that stuff because she isn't cheap, man. Same thing with the Krillin, neither of them are cheap. They're, I mean, they're opposite of cheap. They're very, very expensive. I believe one copy, I think it costs 70k per copy, right? So you have 70k per copy, and then on top of that, you also have the the medals. You need to awaken them, which cost 90k in total for the medals alone. So 70k per copy. That's 350k. I, I think I'm. I think that's right. If, if that's not right, if if that's a little bit off, then let's just say we assume it's 70k. 70k per copy times five, 350,000. And then 90,000. So you're looking at over a 400,000 um, battlefield memory investment to rainbow this girl, and that is quite a bit, man. That is a lot of freaking battlefield memory for an Android 18 or a Krillin. So it's really up to you guys. Um, I'm putting the showcase out there. I'm showing you what you can do right now, so you can decide for yourself. I'm definitely gonna go for it because I'm just a stupid Android 18 fanboy. Um, <laughs> but your situation is going to be different, man. If you guys want to save for like the LRs, like the LR uh, Frieza and King Cold, or maybe you don't have Oob yet, or maybe you want to rainbow um, the physical Majin Vegeta or the STR Super Saiyan Goku, I mean, those are all good options too. I'm not necessarily saying that the 18 and the Krillin, actually I didn't even test out the Krillin yet, so uh, maybe a showcase for that's coming soon, but I'm not necessarily saying that these are better options, but... I could definitely say that they're good options, man. This 18 doesn't do too bad at all. Of course, you do need to have the uh, 16 and 17 on the team and like have them attacking together to really get the full use out of her. If you don't, I'm going to say she's probably going to be quite underwhelming. But in this situation where you actually set up a team for her, and it doesn't require that much setup, obviously. If you just have like 117 or 116 on the team uh, and put them together, you should be good to go, right? So it doesn't require a ton of setup, but... Um, you know, you still gotta put in some work. <laughs> Let's just say, you, you do need to put in some work. Alright, so this is probably gonna be the last attack, guys. Because she's about to finish out Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta here. I think this attack is gonna be the most damage we'll see out of her on a realistic showcase. We got 1.2 mil here. And can we get a crit to end up? Yes, we can. 1.1 mil. Not too bad, guys. Not too bad. So damage, solid. Um, tanking. Not bad at all, and also her uh, defensive like dodging ability is also very impressive. She dodged quite a few attacks in there, so 
I would say she's a really good well-rounded unit, man. She is very good overall. She can do quite a few things for you. And she's also Android 18, which is just a huge, huge bonus for me at least. So uh, there you go, guys. That's going to do it for today's showcase. That is the new Battlefield Android 18. Once again, a huge shout out to Hydros and the Trident team for making showcases like this possible. And uh, let me know in the comments down below, guys, if you enjoy these kind of showcases, if you want to see more showcases from me uh, with these rainbow units that I can't necessarily get on my main global account, but I can use Trident and, uh, you know, make these videos for you. So, yeah. Uh, oh, also, let me know in the comments down below if you guys got the 18 for yourselves, what you think of her. I think she's actually really solid. She's probably somewhere between... Um, the old like AGL Android 18 and the new, well not new rather, uh, the Tech Universe Survival Saga Summonable uh, Android uh, 18. So she's somewhere in between there. She's not quite as good I think as the Tech 18. I do think the Tech 18 is still the best 18 in the game. That's just me. Um, but I think she's very close. And in some situations where you need more you know, damage reduction, or maybe not necessarily damage reduction, but like the dodging is kind of damage reduction if you're not getting hit, right? So if you need a unit that's maybe uh, gonna save you from a SA that could kill you or something like that, then she might be more useful in that situation. We'll have to see. I mean, I have to do a side by side comparison, but either way, I like her a lot. I think she's an amazing unit. I think she's worth it. But once again, I'm biased, guys. I am a huge, huge Android 18 fanboy. So uh, you can make that decision for yourselves, all right? <laughs> but that's going to do it for the showcase, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you like the video, then definitely make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you'll like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.